Next, we'll enjoy a recent morning worship presented by Brother William Malenfant. He describes the power of parental training. I think all of us have had very interesting experiences with young ones, and we could go on quite a while speaking about them. But there is a story about a child psychologist who began his practice with four theories and no children. Some years later, he found that he had four children and no theories. <laughs> he learned that there was quite a bit to, to do. It was a lot to do to raise a child. It was far more than just a few theories. So theories about child raising come and go. And the best counsel on raising a child, of course, is found in the Bible. We know that because it's been there for thousands of years. And it's consistent. It's consistently successful. From the Watchtower of 2008, April 1st. If a child is trained according to the Bible's counsel, the parent or parents are creating the most favorable circumstances to bring about a marvelous result. That marvelous result is a faithful servant of Jehovah's organization, Jehovah God. But there's another side to the coin. Despite the most earnest efforts of parents, some children do become unfaithful. And a thing, something to keep in mind for parents particularly who have really tried hard to raise their children properly, we don't want to see them beat themselves, figuratively speaking, on and on for years and years because they feel like they're failures. They should not do that. How do you account, if, if it seems to some parents that know somehow they failed, well then how do you account for children who receive no help whatsoever from their parents, and they love Jehovah and they come into the truth. It's heart, heart condition. So parents would be wise to focus on the future and what they can do, not to look back and beat themselves over problems of the past. And even when children do turn aside from serving Jehovah, parents who have conscientiously trained their children in the way to walk they can still entertain the hope that those young ones will come back someday. We never give up. How about new? On our kids. We don't give up on our close friends or siblings who may have walked away from the truth. We always hope that they'll come back. We're living in the final part of the last days. Let's move on. 